Hey Aquarius, this is your weekly reading for love, career, career, family, and friends. Alrighty, so let's get started with your love life. Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius's love life? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for their love life. Three cards, the Magician, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So Gemini energy is here. With the magician, someone could be wanting to manifest, reconciling with you, coming back together with you. Someone could want to date or take you out for drinks with the three of cups energy. You could already be doing this as well, going out, having drinks with people, like dating. And then eight of wands, this takes off or someone takes off, okay? Uh, with that eight of wands energy could also represent communication, Page of Cups, someone offers you like a little text or a phone call. Something comes in. This could be a message. Why is the ma magician here? <laughs> yes, someone wants a connection. Two of Cups, this may also be you. So vice versa, take the message vice versa as well. So Two of Cups, someone wanting to manifest a connection, wanting to manifest their soulmate. Why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Wands, ooh. Three of Cups and Three of Wands. Mm, two threes. <sighs> could indicate a third party. I don't want to go there already, but it could, okay? For some of you, this person has been waiting, like waiting for a while to talk to you, waiting for a while to reconcile, like waiting on their chance to say something to you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Three of swords. Okay. Too many threes. It's like, as soon as you find out this person is attached, um, cause they could definitely already be in a relationship. Um, or they find out that you're attached. It's like someone leaves heartbroken with that three of swords and the eight of wands. Someone gets their heart broken and then someone takes off. It's like almost like too embarrassed to stick around but definitely third party energy, three of cups, three of wands, three of swords, third party energy is coming through. Um, this could be a romance that maybe fizzled because someone was in a relationship already, but someone still has feelings. Okay. See, this could be the one. Someone may feel like you were the one or the one that they lost, the one that got away or is getting away. Um, you could feel like this towards someone. Let's get one more. You deserve love. See, you deserve love not to be in a third party. No. Okay. Make sure that someone is completely free. Let's get an Oracle card on your love life for Aquarius. Harmony. Yeah. See, someone wants harmony, but like I said, be aware that this could definitely be be a third party situation. So make sure you know the full status on their marital uh, or know the full status on whether they're married, single, divorced, you know, have a girlfriend, boyfriend, something, you know, make sure you know all the information before you move this forward. Okay. Or make sure they know all the information on you. What's going on with, uh, Aquarius's career, your career, three cards for your career. Ace of Swords, you just started something new, something brand new is, is beginning, something that Queen of Pentacles will bring in a lot of money or is you're, like you're successful at. And then the Magician, again, you're in the manifestation mode. So you're in a mode of manifesting your dreams, your goals. Something just started new for you with the Ace of Swords. You have clarity on what you want. Uh, could be something where... A lot of commun communication is involved as well. Queen of Pentacles coming out strong towards Capricorn Virgo energy, being very stable and grounded and manifesting Gemini energy. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Empress. Yeah. Some of you have really started something good. The Empress is abundant. Um, some of you may get spoiled on the job or get some perks. Some of you work in the beauty industry, I want to say. Getting that very strongly. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Tower. Ooh, something is explosive happens. I feel like um, it's like people see your potential, but you kind of come out of nowhere. Like it's like this boss type energy. Like ooh, and you kind of shock people. 
with that tower, it's like you do something shocking with your career. Maybe you change your career completely. But with that Empress card, some of you may be working with an older female, older woman, someone who's very well established. Why is the magician here? Six of Pentacles, manifesting more money. Some of you are saving when I get the Six of Pentacles. Um, I do want to say some of you need to start saving your money. Manifest saving your money. Putting money to the side little by little, okay? I do want to say that. Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, some of you could be waiting for the perfect match or perfect job with the Two of Cups and Three of Wands there. So let's get an Oracle card on your career. Rest and rejuvenate. Rest and rejuvenate. And this is something like when you are overworking yourself or maybe you're overworking your brain, overthinking a situation on a job, maybe you've been putting money to the side and working hard and you're starting new projects and stuff. Don't forget to rest, okay? Don't forget to rest. Don't compromise that. Give me one more card here. Recovery, yeah. Some of you are recovering finances that have been gone for a while. You're starting to save, okay? I do feel that energy. So what's going on with you and your family? Aquarius and their family. What do they need to hear and know about their families this week? Aquarius and their families. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Queen of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Keep in mind that your spouse can be your family. A marriage can be a family. If you share children with someone, that can be a family, okay? So love may intermingle with this part. Ace of Wands, very fiery, passionate start to something. Queen of Swords, someone comes off cold, blocking energy. Someone is blocking Eight of Wands, someone blocking you from moving on, blocking you from communicating or something like that. Eight of Cups, someone wanting to walk away. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Ace of Wands here for your family? The Tower is back out. Okay, so sometimes when you get the Tower and the Ace of Wands, it could mean like big dick energy. How is your sex life going? Okay, maybe it's all about the kids. Maybe you focus too much on work or something like it's like someone is about to explode almost sexually. Like, so pay attention to that kind of stuff. So that's for a few of you. Um, maybe you need to bring some spice back into the marriage. Um, but for others of you, it's like you start something, then it kind of blows up in your face. This could be an argument that happens out of nowhere. Why is the Queen of Swords here dealing with a tough female energy? Someone who keeps secrets could be a Pisces or just someone um, with a high priestess, someone who keeps secrets, someone who's very guarded that you're dealing with and it's starting to irritate you. Why is the Eight of Wands here for your family? Six of Pentacles is back out. So it's like you just kind of want to gather your coins and move on from this. It's like, you know what? I'm tired of be being breadcrumbed. I just want to move on. I'm tired of someone not opening up emotionally. It's getting on my nerves, okay? And then what's the advice here? What's the advice for you and your family? Big, happy changes, yeah. Some of you will uh, finally get this person to open up and actually get reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles and communication will be able to flow. Some of you, um, you need to travel to see someone uh, this queen of swords, this ice queen, maybe you need to travel to see them. For some of you, this is you. Uh, air sign energy with the queen of swords. Maybe you've kept a lot of secrets or kept things hidden from others. And now you're ready to open up and talk. But there's going to be some big happy changes coming out of that. Okay. Let's get an oracle card on you and your family. Okay, we got two. Yeah, using your creativity from something that may have been low vibing or a person that's low vibing. It's like you're trying to use creativity to see how to get through to this person or through uh, get a breakthrough on this situation. What's going on with you and your friends? Aquarius and their friends. Give me three for Aquarius and their friends. Page of Swords. Who's spying? Uh, hangman. Okay, could be a Pisces. Three of Pentacles. Could be a younger air sign as well. Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay. 
page of source, someone spying, someone wanting more information. You may need to get more information on a certain situation. Hanging man, someone may be stuck or uh, a bit in trouble. Someone may be all tied up in a situation and you're watching this happen. Three of pentacles, it's like you're trying to figure out how to help them. Like, how can I come together and help them or work together with them? Again, tower at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, someone is going through something. Is someone in jail? Do you have a friend who's in jail or a friend who may be having financial issues or problems with the king of pentacles? They could be going through a lot. Why is the page of swords here for your friends? Could be a Capricorn. Uh, the devil energy is here. I feel like someone could be gossiping. Be very careful with your friendship circle. Someone could be gossiping with the devil energy and the page of swords, representing gossip when those two cards are, are together. Why is the hanging man here for you and your friends? Two of wands. Someone is stuck in something. You may need to look at a situation differently. Also with the hangman, look at something with a new perspective and decide which path you want to go down with this person. Why is the three of pentacles here for you and your friends? Five of wands, lots of different opinions, people fighting, people contending against one another. Everyone has something to say. Oh, mm, this could be at your job as well. Maybe a lot of competition, competition amongst friends, okay? When you get the five of wands and the three of pentacles, could be comp lots of competition amongst friends, okay? So what is the advice here? What is the advice for Aquarius and their friendships? It's up to you. That's what I was saying. You have some type of choice. It's like, you look at something with a different perspective and then you have a choice to decide whether you want to continue something uh, with this person or not or with these people or not. So it's up to you. But I feel like you're seeing someone be very toxic or someone has anger issues for some of you. So it's up to you, I feel like, to decide whether you want this person in your life or whether you want to help them or not. Okay, and then let's get an oracle card for your friendships. Patience and planning. See, it's going to take a lot of patience. You really need to look at this. Take some time, step back and look at this and see if this is some something that you even want to get involved with. You could be the outside person watching your friends fight over different stuff. And you're like the mediator. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Alrighty, Aquarius, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. Also, you guys, before you go, click in the description box. Click the link for Sophia Monet Apparel. Please check out the website. I created this clothing line for you guys. So don't be afraid <laughs> to go to the website buy something if you haven't already. I would really appreciate your support for Sophia Monet Apparel. Check out the things um, that I have on there for Sophia Monet Tarot subscribers. Uh, again, I appreciate the love, the support, and the encouragement that you guys have given me. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.